This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello, my beautiful buddies, and welcome to a modern shipping container home for Eco Lifestyle, the brand new pack. Um, so guys, oh my gosh, I feel like it has been so long since we've had like a proper build on the channel and I am just here for it just because this new pack has so many beautiful build items but before I go ahead and start talking about the build and new pack and all this I just want to say that there is a fan going on in the background so if it makes it hard to hear me a little bit well it shouldn't be hard but if it's like annoying a little bit I'm sorry it's just really hot in my room so I hope that doesn't bother any of you <laughs> Um, anyway, going back to the build now, um, so yeah, so I got inspiration to do this house on, um, like, Google Images, like, I just went and typed in, like, modern shipping container homes, and got a lot of good inspiration, it wasn't taken for anything in particular, but I just really, really was happy, because I was able to use a lot of the new, um, fencing, as well as the new windows, there's a lot of, like, really dynamic sticking out windows, the only thing that I found a little bit kind of disappointing is, is that we got these really beautiful like floor to like ceiling doors but we didn't really get them for unfortunately um like windows so that's something I would like to do like to see too like I would have liked to see like a really big glass window without like the pane in the middle kind of like like the door but like with no pain in the middle like we, I feel like we need really really big large modern windows like that um because like I feel like we have so many of those like um modern windows like you know the one I'm talking about like the one in the back in the kids room you'll see um it just there are just so many of those and I feel like we can do something a little bit more different um but yeah, I haven't really gotten into a lot of the gameplay yet, but so far from what I've seen, I really, really like the gameplay. I think the fabrication skill is so, like, such a unique skill, and I think it's really, really fun. Um, honestly, I almost feel like fabrication and handiness could, like, kind of, like, go hand in hand. Um, I'm actually surprised, too, that um, there is, like, so many like woodworking like table type things that I feel like it could have easily been another handiness skill um like workbench like there's this one in particular that I'll put up on like the deck and you guys will see it that I'm like that could have so been used for like a handiness table or something um but yeah anyway um I like in particular too like the new candles because there's a new candle making skill and that is really pretty oh is there a candle making skill or is it part of like the fabrication skill I don't know I'll have to go ahead and dive like deeper into that <laughs> also too there is dumpsters and let me tell you I was watching the um sim supply um James's channel and he finds so many good things in the dumpsters so like don't don't knock it <laughs> really should try it because we found like paintings that were like worth like four thousand simoleons and for like a rags of riches challenge that that would come in handy that would really come in handy <laughs> and yeah i just i really really like how this build is so black and white i'm kind of like jumping around a little bit now um and the items in particular in this pack i notice are really really modern looking and things like that i think it surprisingly really pairs well with island living objects and i wasn't really expecting that um because like i thought oh go together really well with teeny living and it does go well with some of the things in teeny living but like really 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 it suits like um island living so well no is it island living or island paradise i don't know i always get the names mixed up now <laughs> we need the simpler names <laughs> i always get them mixed up i'm so sorry i play this game so much with you guys and i still can't get the name straight oops <laughs> anyway um and i just feel like a lot of them go so so beautifully and like paired together and it's like very 
like muted colors I noticed too. Um, it like gives me almost um, what kind of style do I describe this as? Like it almost gives me like Urban Outfitter kind of vibes to it. Urban Outfitter sells objects right at least i've seen um like those beauty gurus be like oh i got this from urban outfitters and it's like girl that is that's a tablecloth <laughs> i don't know i don't shop there but that's the vibe it like gives it gives to me also to like maybe some slight ikea vibes um but i don't know yeah, I don't know, because, like, the Ikea, I feel like people rave about Ikea, but honestly, the Ikea, like, where I live, never had anything that, like, really impressed me that much. Um, maybe it's better in other countries, maybe mine just, like, isn't my cup of tea, but I just really like this modern furniture either way. I think it's really, really pretty, um, and I really, really like the new skills that come in this pack, because there are so many, and there's so many of them, and I feel like with, um the selling table because they did give us another selling table you can do some really lucrative like selling like your sim doesn't even have to be part of a career if you don't want to like you could just have your sims make things and sell them and they make a pretty penny honestly and especially too with like the new sparkling water juice making um like skill the kombucha one um your sim can make a lot from it like i've seen simmers that had like the super duper early access a lot of them um like not a lot of them but some of them um did like the the skill and they when the, once they got to being able to like make bigger um like better bigger like quantities of it they started to make a lot of money from it so i i think think definitely that's a skill that you guys could use um when you're doing like your kind of like more homeless challenge kind of things for your sims to make a lot of money pretty quickly um there's also two new careers so one of them is a freelancer career that your sim could go into and it uses uh, like the candle making the juice making the fabrication skill all that fun stuff um and then you have the civil designer career which follows more of the kind of careers that you could either work from home or you can go in um and you can uh, <clears throat> i think it like uses like logic skill and the fabrication skill and things like that and your sim um will also get like an ipad i'm not sure too if you need creativity for that um i don't know i guess guess i'll see at some point when i play the career um but yeah it's it's a really really fun career it's like the purpose of it is for your sims to um like i guess make things and just like modernize things like it's a career that like wants to modernize like the world and yeah that's one thing too i really love about this pack as well um so of course you guys know or you may not know this might be your first video that you're ever watching for for eco lifestyle and if that's so i'm really honored but this world um evergreen harbor you can go ahead and um change the way the world looks depending on where you are in the world um so like because the sims is split up by neighborhoods um some neighborhoods have better eco footprints than others um like the one that i'm building in right now with the quarry has a pristine one but what i noticed that even if like the air quality is like pristine um the garbage around town doesn't mean it gets better so you can have like a town with a really industrial footprint but it could still not have a lot of like garbage around i don't know if that makes sense but like that is separate from the whole like eco air footprint and when you have a really um high like eco air footprint you you can get like the oralis boralis which is like basically like the northern lights looking kind of thing um and it's really pretty and this spans across to other um other worlds as well so is that not just like exclusive the evergreen harbor like you can make a difference like in your eco footprint in all worlds except for um strangerville or as i like to call it strange town <laughs> for my personal save file um or the destination worlds so yeah that's that's really that's really interesting Although I will have to say though, I would have really liked the scene, um, the 
get to no not what the, what am i saying <laughs> the outdoor retreat world in like a pristine condition like i feel like that would be really pretty with like the long tall trees <laughs> um but yeah that's that's the tea i guess on that that you can also um go ahead and vote on the community spaces every week so you can change um whether you want it to be like a community garden a marketplace a maker space it's up to you and like the different neighborhoods will have different ones as well depending on what they vote for um and also too like you can make a difference in your world personally one of my favorite ones i've seen so far is like seeing the modern modernization of different places because especially too like it's really cool to see the apartments because apartments are not exclusive to city living anymore there is a couple um they get like really really pretty over time um when you collect like the modernization one and just like things in the world in general like more like just it just look begins to look prettier i i noticed so if you if you're gonna play this game if you're gonna get eco lifestyle i recommend that's one of the things that you vote for in your world because it does make it so pretty and make it so different like it looks more developed over time um and i really really liked it i really like the attention to detail because it like feels like the game is more alive to me um also to greener initiatives too i i think that will pick up all the garbage around in the town and then you have crazy ones too like juice community and like sharing is caring which you can basically like take anything from your neighbors and like <laughs> it's really funny to be honest but not funny if it happens to your sim <laughs> but yeah that's some of the new features of the new pack um personally for me i really really like the new skills because personally one thing i really like about the game is i really like getting new skills and i really like getting new build and create some content the most i noticed um and yeah i just i just think too that the sims do does such a great job with world building the worlds get prettier and prettier and prettier every single time and they're really really great about that um that's one thing I have to say that I always am like not disappointed into and also to just like create some items like hairs I feel like are getting better over time and just check textures in general as like the years go by um and yeah <laughs> I just noticed too that the in this um whatchamacallit um in this pack there are a lot of like really um great like building like unique building things that you could use for structures and all of that kind of stuff um and i just love all the vines all the plants all the greenery um one thing i was actually surprised to see is that like shelving in the back wall like the shelving um by the by the dining table is that isn't actually a bookshelf i would have thought that would have been a bookshelf i but um now with like the little books things because there was an update a little while back ago where you can have like books like just like a little stack of books and have that be your bookshelf so that's what i did i've done that quite a lot too with the hanging one just because to me i feel like those should be bookshelves because like i know that they're supposed to be decor but i feel like they can be purposed in more things than just that um and yeah i just i really really love just how it just like kind of like came together um and i just i just love the build what can i say <laughs> i love building guys also too um side note from eco lifestyle i have been actually recording a lot of videos on my own time um i have like two of them that are like ready for voiceover already um that i've been like doing i just haven't been posting because it's kind of been in a weird time where it was like right before a new pack that everyone knew was coming out and the people that were supposed to get go to sim camp got like their personal sim camp kind of thing um so they got like super duper early access um because they didn't get to go and um so like people are already watching those videos because so i can already tell like oh people want to be watching eco lifestyle right now so like i was like holding off to like posting some like other builds until eco lifestyle started to die down so i will post them after after like time passes because i still think you guys will really like to see them um and like one of them is for um 
SimCity, so like for the herbs for my for my save file. Um, and then another one is for um, one that actually I've been doing personal gameplay with. Um, let me guys know too if you guys like current households, um, because I would be so happy to do that because it's been so long since I've just played the game just for me. Because um, I actually started it for. A video in particular but like I didn't want to just cheat for the sims to get to the point that I wanted to do if that makes sense um, so I'm like I'm gonna play them and then just enjoy it because then it will feel more deserved because I wanted to do like a video where my sims um, went to university um, and play through that because I haven't done that on my own time yet um, and I I'm having so much fun with it because as you guys may or may not know I just finished my degree <laughs> so yeah I'm now a graduated woman and I got my BA um, so hats off to me um, <laughs> and um, I'm just I'm just a little sad because I didn't get a chance to like really have like my oh this is this is our last time doing this and our last time doing that kind of thing so I'm like I'm gonna do it in the sims so have a proper goodbye <laughs> and I want a proper graduation too because yeah corona that that just that just made it a little difficult for everything. But we're not going to talk about real world events because there's so much going on right now in the world. And I feel like everybody could just use a little positivity and a little escape from the world right now. Um, but yeah, love thy neighbor. Um, spread positivity. Have fun wherever you go. Um, and I just, and I just hope too that like, um, that my channel and this just simming community too just could be, um, a little positive corner for you, whoever you are and, um, whatever you do. Um, because I do really, really like it. And I do think gen in a general sense that we are a pretty good gaming community. Um, as I know some, some of them could be pretty like hostile. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, and I'm not laughing because of what I'm saying. I'm, la I'm sorry. That was like really weird. I'm, I'm laughing because like I love how there's such a pretty house, and but there's so much garbage around. I wasn't laughing because of that. I hope you guys know. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm just laughing just because there, you see how much garbage there is in like a pristine neighborhood. Like that's, that's one thing that doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why it's like an eco footprint is green, but yet there's so much garbage. Because I was expecting there to be, it just look over like really, really clean and neat. But I guess I like that extra detail that it's like, even though it's clean, you still have to clean up the garbage. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I also go into debug mode. That's what I was going to say. I go into debug mode for this. Um, and I pull out some already made candles. Um, as well as like some bikes. Um, a TV and a, um, whatchamacallit. And like a table from The Sims 1. Um, that you can usually find like dumpster diving. Or like stuff that you can create. Um, because there's one thing I do have a beef with. Um... I love that you can fabricate all these things. However, I still wish that there was a way that they could just be already made in the catalog. Because there's actually a lot of furniture that's not in normal build by mode. Like if you go into a normal way that you can create through like the fabrication skill. I would have loved if it could have just been in the been in the normal catalog, just maybe like locked with career items or something like that. And if you were building freely with like nobody living in the house, you can just place those down. But yeah, I'm just I'm just curious to see how you guys feel about that just because I feel like it'd be nice because as a builder that is kind of more of a pain to be pain to go and like bug buy all the time to like go and find these things because there are like some really nice items that I pulled out and I placed down I know some of you guys will think oh, that's cheating but <laughs> I think a lot of you guys will appreciate it just because it adds more like color more life to like the build um and I think it think it adds detail and this is just for fun this is a build this isn't like us doing like any gameplay so I thought it was okay um 
Also, too, you guys let me know, too, if you guys are planning on getting Eco Lifestyle. Um, what kind of content if not, you guys would like to see in the future? If you guys would like to see more builds, if you guys want to see more gameplay. I haven't done gameplay in a while. Um, what have you guys been up to? Um, let me let me know, too, how, how you guys have been. Um, and make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe down below. Um, I love hearing from all of you guys so, so, so much. Like, seeing your guys' comments comments is really makes me really happy and I know that I haven't been consistent I've just kind of like started being consistent again um but yeah I really like your seeing your guys comments really seeing you guys likes um and interact with me in social media um so yeah go ahead and do that and I hope this makes your day brighter and I will talk to you guys soon okay bye 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 Always. Oh,